Okay, but the case is not a difficult one, just the decision is a difficult one. You were driving in your car? No, ma'am. You were walking? I was walking. I was outside of my apartment complex. I was talking to a friend of mine. Um, and you saw a small dog? Yes. Small white poodle? Yes, ma'am. How much did it weigh? It's estimated in the report about six pounds. And it was without an owner and without a leash? And a collar. No collar? No, ma'am. The dog belongs to you? Yes. At some point you went over to the dog to see no, if... No, the dog came to me. And you bent down? Yes, ma'am. What happened when you bent down? He smelled my hand. I was petting him. And then he left and he crossed the road and he almost got hit by a car for the second time. How large a road is that? It's a one-way circle. And in the middle of that uh, traffic circle, there's a park. And did you follow the dog with your eyes? Yes, ma'am. You saw it cross the road. Mm -hmm. Then what did you do? I looked for the owner, uh, given that it is a park. Uh, some owners will let their dogs off leash, but they're nearby, and I didn't see anybody in the park. So the dog crossed the road again, and crossed I... Crossed back towards you? Back towards me, yes. So I kneeled down again. The dog came over to me. He smelled my hand. I was petting him. So I, you know, evaluated the situation. He didn't seem aggressive, so I felt comfortable enough. I didn't want him to get hit by a car. His safety, you know, I was concerned. I, I didn't understand. want him to get hit. I got it. So I went to pick him up and he turned around and he bit me three times on the left hand. I have photos of the injuries. Okay, so now you have your hand, your hand is... Right. Did you put the dog, I assume you put the dog down? I, I let go and then I said, he's gonna go home to back where he lives. So I watched to see where he walked and I followed him at a safe distance and he was in front of the Miss Garcia's apartment complex. Okay, about how far is that from where you were? It's not that far, there's my apartment complex a duplex and then her apartment complex. Okay, so then just around walk, the corner. Did you say around the corner? Yes, it's around a corner. So you had to go around a corner? Yes. And take me step by step. So the dog went to the apartment complex. Yes, ma'am. He went in front of the building. He was smelling around. A neighbor had come out of that same apartment complex with her small dog. And I said, be careful, that dog just bit me. And she had said, it happens all the time. He's out, okay. Don't, you can't tell me what you so, said. So how did you find the defendant? Okay, I was on the phone with Animal Control reporting the case. And while I was on the phone, Miss Garcia's daughter exited the apartment complex. How old is her daughter? Uh, she's school-aged. I'd say she's probably middle school. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure. And I said, is that your dog? Yes, it is. I said, well, he just bit me. And I, I showed her my hand. I had blood on my hand. And she said, what? At that time, Miss Garcia was getting out of her vehicle. She comes up to me with attitude and she says, what's going on? And then I said, your dog just bit me. So she walks up to her daughter. The daughter's now holding the dog. And the daughter says to Miss Garcia, yeah, she's claiming that he bit her. And I said, he did. Look at the blood on my hand. Okay. I did not say that. Okay. This is not the daughter, just... your honor. No, I understand. Yeah. I got it. I put it all together. <laughs> okay. Now I'll see pictures of your hand. I also, um, the animal control report also states that Ms. Garcia could not provide proof that the dog had its rabies vaccinations. So because of that, I had to get treated for rabies. I had excruciating pain shooting up the inside of my arm. Tell me what the rabies, I, I, it's been so long, you used to have to get shots in your stomach not for anymore. rabies. Not anymore. It's oh, a that's... series of four injections in, in your upper arm, in your shoulder. And you got that over what period of time? Within like three weeks. I have that here as well, too. Okay. Did you ever see this lady? Yeah, Did you ever no. see her? You saw no. me at the door, ma'am. Don't lie. I don't want to hear you unless I ask you a question. Do you understand that? Yes, Your Honor. You never saw her. No, ma'am. The only two people that you saw on that day were Miss Garcia mm -hmm. and her school-aged daughter. Yes, ma'am. Liar. You weren't home, so you don't know what happened. No. You were in your car. Yes, yes. ma'am. So you don't know what happened. No. You